Now we are in the final last step of our guessing game in project one. So, so far we have imported random to create a random number generator. We've got an input from the user and we can compare this input. So now what we want to do is kind of put this on a loop. So that creates a game, right? Because right now you have to run the game and then it's a different number every time. So we want to create a loop. So here we're going to use the second type of while loop. I did make a video on this, so you can that should be in the description. So I can say while and then say uh, right, so we do need a variable. So we can say continue uh, looping and we're just going to set this to a boolean value of true so boolean is either true or false so we're going to set it to a boolean value of true and then we're going to say while continue looping is equal to true um then we can do whatever is in this while loop so just remember that one equals two is define and two equals two is to read uh, i went over this in the loops video in detail as well so um right now inside of the while loop we can put this beautiful beautiful thing um let's just cut that So if we decided to use this as is, uh, there would be a couple problems with it. Um, first of all, we got to make sure that this is aligned, but that's that. So first of all, this would be a couple of problems. This would continue forever. There's nothing saying to stop the loop. So we're going to add a stop um, right now. So you can say, if user input is equal to random number, you can say that you win, and then you can define continue looping as false. And that just shows that, oh, the game's over, the loop's done. Now we're going to um, say before we do any of that, we're going to get the user input again. So that just so if we didn't then one user input it would just run over and over again and you wouldn't be able to put anything else in. So now if we go over it step by step, while continue looping is true, which just means while the game is still on, check for user input is the first step. So what is the user input? What is the user's guess? And then we can say if the guess is equal to the random number, we can print you win. If the guess is equal to, uh, if the guess is higher than the random number, we can say print lower and continue the loop. If the uh, user gets too low, we can say guess it higher and continue the loop, restarting it until you get exactly this. And just to show you that this all works, let's comment all of this code out and even this code so that I don't know what the random number is. Right, so we have this and I can say guess the number, I'm going to guess 70. Guess lower, okay, I'm going to say 50. Guess lower, okay, I'm going to say 20. Lower, 3. Okay. Apparently, the randomly generated number was 3, so I won. <laughs> if we want to play again, we can say, um, we can say 60, uh, 90, uh, 70, 80, uh, 89, 85, uh, 87, 86. There we go. So you can see that this is an actual game you can try and play. 
And then at the end, just to spice things up, say that you want to add a counter to see how many times you have tried to guess. Uh, I'm going to let you do that in the next video. I will show you how to add that, but I want you to try to do it by yourself since this is something that sure you, that uh, all of the stuff has been covered. So if you do have any questions, remember, Google's your best friend. And if you can't find it on Google, there are videos scattered around the channel just showing each part of how to do individual things. So that should be step four.